Hello guys and welcome back to comment and it's time for another part in this tutorial series and today we are going to create that you can actually that the whole system works except two things the that you can um, go from for example let me just remove this oops um, that you can go for instance from this edge towards this plateau and that from this plateau you can go to this edge those are two things that aren't included because uh, that's something we have to script later on we're going to script that in the next tutorial part I think but today we're going to make everything work which we have scripted so far uh, we're going to start with actually doing the last bit of programming to make everything to work because we need to put everything inside the update so if we're going to say that this is going to be uh, if your current sort is uh, walking and you are really walking around so you're just not standing but you are pressing a button so your character is moving we're going to say that you need to start climbing so you need to search for a wall where you can jump on so if your current sort is climbing sort dot walking whoops and input dot get access vertical so that means the w or the s key but we're going to say that it is more than uh, zero because otherwise you could uh, walk backwards against uh the wall and can still jump up and that will look weird we don't want that so only when it is more than zero and then we will start climbing and if you're cl climbing of course so if your current sort is climbing you want to climb also, uh, also update stats which is this part then we are going to say that if you're climbing towards a point or climbing towards a plateau you want to move towards a point you know the very first function we made that you can actually move around so if your current sword is climbing sword dot climbing towards a point or the current sword is going to be climbing sword dot climbing towards a plateau going to move towards point then the last thing we need to add is if you're jumping or falling you need to go to the jumping function I think also that's very logic I think non nothing of this is very hard to understand um, so we're just going to do this And we're going to remove the start function because we don't need that and otherwise it's just a waste of memory so now we are going to go to this place and we're going to assign every variable so let me just see what it is exactly so we don't make any mistakes so the climb force is going to be um, how fast you go towards the next point so that's six you can move it higher lower whatever you want to be the smallest edge is a little bit <laughs> less than this um, the max angle that is going to be 30 very logic i think um, the climb range is 2.1 this just because Two is the actual range you want to be but you make it a little bit higher so that you will actually if this is two for instance you want actually that uh, the raycast is starting a little bit above it the jump force is going to be 400 so that's how fast you jump but it looks like a massive number but it also calculates within the mass of the object and so on so 
now we're going to all the do the all the offsets which is going to be the fall hint or the vertical hint offset is going to be only this set axis and it's just a little bit all those variables are really really low so also the uh, fall hint offset is going to be dot two. Oh, whoops i forgot one the horizontal offset is going to be dot two and dot three and also the rake position is one uh, because it's in the middle i can actually i cannot explain a lot of this because it's trial and error what we are going to do here like a lot of this is just I just test this a million times and just find out what the perfect variable is. Um, the minimal distance is going to be uh, dot sixteen. The cooldown is going to be dot one. By the way, the minimal distance. Um, if you are going to change how the uh, for raycast every function are going to be, you also need to uh, redo this part. Very important and a third person use controller we can just assign it it's nothing uh, very hard um, the spot layer is the default and the current check spot let me see it already created it no we didn't um, then we're just going to the layers and we have the current check spot which by the way all this is explained in the other tutorials why i'm doing this or like this why there's this layer this layer is just so we can only check for that object currently um current check spot um the current spot layer is of current current check spot and the um, reachable um is going to be everything except the player you don't want it to hit the player itself and thinks oh we cannot reach it and so on and also the current check spot um also i see we forgot one layer i think let me just quickly check it and we'll be right back within a minute and welcome back and i found out that we made a small mistake um the we also need a public layer mask check layers for obstacle so reachable is like can you reach the object itself um and of course you don't want to hit like in this edge uh, maybe it will hit the uh, object itself, but it can still reach it if just standing here. But we also want to test if you can actually just hang at that place. And then it is important if the object where you are currently hanging at uh, is not um, blocking the, the place where the player will hang. So what we're going to do here is we go towards get closest point and we're going to what a line cast because with the line cast we tested if you can actually be there and we're just going to change this to check layers for obstacle and check layers for whoops and check layers for obstacle very sorry but this is a simple fix i hope there aren't any more um, so now we also need to change that and if this will use yeah and check layers for obstacle is again everything but it is uh isn't the player because the player itself is the obstacle but it is the current check spot also um i think we assigned everything so let's just test it and i hope everything will be all right
it cannot reach it. All right, that's that's cool. Um, let me see. Something isn't working. That probably means that I did something wrong. <laughs> I will just be back right within a minute. Welcome back guys! And I found all the errors and things that made this system uh, that it didn't work. There are quite a few of them. Um, now they just make mistakes because it's a very complex system. So sometimes I forgot something or sometimes I mistyped something. Let me just zoom in by the way. So the very first one is that I sat with those two lines, with two line guess where you would just try to find out where it is uh, if you are hitting something. The point is the place where it is. You don't want it to be that far away. You just want it to be on a normal side a little bit farther away. So this needs to be normal. And also this needs to be normal because you need to be uh, dot one unit away from the object and you don't want to move it far away because if that point is at the space of like 100 was like a hundred away so that's why that didn't work and we also need to fix it right here and also here we need to remove this there's something I've got to um, remove also there is, uh, let me just see. When we find a spot, right here. Here did you find a spot and we need to begin size, begin distance. And we need to set it to the same as here when we move towards a point. And that's because, let me just see where the distance is here and that's because we use that here to calculate what the normal distance is the begin distance and so on so that's that and we also or I actually <laughs> also um, this this is dot six and this needs to be copy zero and base and I think this was everything here um, and here we need to change the layer to player of course that's very logic but that's something I've got um, and also I placed this one above the surface so it was actually just standing floating here so that's why it also looked a little bit weird let me just see if it works right now as you can see it just works the animation is really weird i know because i didn't create an animation for it um, so now everything is just working as it should be and we can just fall off and go on again we can go up and down on slopes we can find uh, weird small spots here and move towards them and i think this this uh, system is almost finished. The uh, only thing we need to do is that when you're walking on a plateau, it works and otherwise also. So also here, as you can see, you can, you go around the actual edge and it looks like I've got something here. I will just check it out for the next part. Um, and this was something I wanted to show you guys because that's also something we need to change. Um, I waited for this fix till this video. As you can see, it is still moving around. That's weird. And the reason for that is that we got four ACAS. We got two very close to him and two a little bit farther away. When you are a little bit farther away, it is also logic that the distance is higher and you also need to check if the minimal distance needs to be a little bit higher uh, because there's already a standard distance because you have more distance on the forward uh, direction of the 
player. And how we're going to change that is going towards here and we are, let me just see if I can see the correct values directly this time. Um, we are going towards the place where we are finding spots, which is here. And the distance needs to be minus the smallest edge divided by 1.5. And also here. Um, I'm very sorry. <laughs> this needs to be right here. And it is the same for this line. And now when you are at such a point where you can move further away upwards, you won't make that weird move. Um, so that's it. I hope you guys liked it. I know this is kind of a messy tutorial part uh, in the series, but it's just because we had to fix a lot of things. Um, also, I assume you guys can just create a world like this. If you cannot, I can create a tutorial at some point of it, but only if you guys ask for it. And uh, I see you guys in the next part where we're going to create that you can move uh, towards a plateau. So I hope you guys liked it. If you did, please leave a like or subscribe and I'll see you guys next time. Bye.